This video is sponsored by UnlockThatPhone.com. Unlock any phone, any carrier, worldwide. Visit UnlockThatPhone.com for more information. What's up guys, Jared back. So I've got a pretty awesome ROM I'd like to show you for your Nexus 5. It's called Candy Cat. Um, now what makes this ROM really, really special, aside from the really cool customizations that they've pulled from various other ROMs, um, by the way, this ROM is actually based off of Sanjin mod, uh, just in case you guys are wondering, but it's had a bunch of picks from various other mods. But what makes this ROM really, really special are the sweetener packs, the modification sort of, um, the look, the cosmetic modification packs that uh, are available to download this with, with this ROM. Um, so I guess we'll go ahead and just jump into it and kind of wing it from that point. So right from the lock screen, you'll notice um, I've got a different lock ring. Yeah, it's a cool little customized lock ring. Again, this is something that comes with uh, the sweetener, one of the sweetener packs that you can download. You'll also notice we've got a little different, I forget what the name of this is called down here, but um, that's different as well, as you can see. And I also have a different icon uh, for my um, lock screen uh, camera widget, as you can see there. There's the normal icon that you would normally see, and there's the icon that I replaced it with. You'll also notice when I tap on the screen here, or even if I go to unlock, um, we've got some different dots here, and you can actually change those, and you can change the lock screen, uh, the lock ring here, all of these things you can change uh, with various different images and um, colors and things like that to really, really make it pop to it. Lots of eye candy, as it were. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just unlock from there. And you'll also notice that down here in the navigation bar area, we've got some different looking um, navigation bar icons here, which is really cool. And I've got some different glow dot effects or glow effects to them, right? So as you can see, that looks really, really cool in my opinion. I think that's really sharp. Again, you can change all of those. They've got tons, tons of different options for you to choose from to change the navigation bar icons down there. I'm really actually blown away with how many they give you. Um, so you can really make your device look cool and make everybody super duper jealous. You'll also notice tucked away up, uh, uh, hidden in the left hand corner here, um, we actually have Halo. And again, this is one of the cherry picks that they took from obviously Paranoid Android. And it's definitely a welcomed addition. I'm sure a lot of people love, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I know a lot of people, but I'm sure a lot of people are really happy that they've actually included it in this ROM. But you'll notice it's also got its own custom look to it as well. And I kind of went with this whole custom Nexus theme everywhere from the lock screen all the way to the navigation bar and Halo as well, as you can see here. So I think that's really, 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 really cool. Um, we can go ahead and jump into the application tray and there really isn't anything too fancy to look at it's it, it's cyanogen mod as you would expect now I want to point out that this is still in hardcore alpha stage. Well, not hardcore alpha stage. I've been able to get away with this ROM as my daily driver for probably the past four or five days. Um, yeah, about four, four, four or five days now. And um, although it's definitely capable of placing phone calls, text messages, downloading things, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, data, NFC, they all seem to be working for me as well as the camera. However, there are some little quirks like say for instance I'll, I'll show you an example if we jump into the application tray and more specifically into the dialer um, this is all white but what I'm going to show you is if we quickly jump into the settings here uh, you'll notice we have an option to change between this gradient background or if we click on this we can change the entire system to the black background right so now everything's black now if we jump back into the dialer actually jump into the dialer. It's now changed black, which I think is really cool. However, when we click on the dial pad, you'll notice that this is still um, white. So if we start typing in numbers, it's really difficult. Uh, you, you might be able to see it on camera. I don't know if you can or not, but there's a bunch of zeros there and you can see that you just can't see the numbers. So that's one thing that I think they do need to change. Um, also, the camera application, um, taking pictures works just fine. However, the video recording is really, really, really blurry. Um, I just can't seem to get it to focus. It focuses before I hit the record button but as soon as I hit that record button it goes out of focus and I'm not sure how to get that to fix other than uh, waiting for an update um, and there's just a couple of other little quirks uh, in and around that you'll find throughout the ROM um, it's not the end of the world that I can get by without or you know with those bugs but I just wanted to kind of make you guys aware of that so anyways jumping back into the ROM itself um, let's go ahead and move back into the actual settings menu here and again this is you know um, a lot of things have been cherry-picked from various different ROMs and things are constantly being added to it but if we jump into candy options here um, You've got a lot of things that you've seen in Cyanogen Mod, which are pretty basic and kind of unexciting status bar tweaks, quick settings panel, and all these other pretty much um, standard tweaks uh, that go along with it. Again, there's that uh, dark candy, so you can choose between the regular or dark. I do like the dark theme, if you want to know my opinion. Uh, we've got some different various Halo options in here as well, so that's awesome. And we also have... Um, some different lock screen options in here. Again, pretty standard with Sanage and Mod. Uh, there's your themes. Then we move into sound. Really nothing too fancy there. Display and lights, nothing fancy there. Uh, moving on to buttons. 
nothing really too fancy there either. Um, and we can move on down now. Again, you know, once you gain access to developer options, you do have developer options. We also have the option to jump into performance and you can start mucking around with, you know, overclocking, underclocking and all the different things that go along with that. Um, I've been really enjoying the eye candy of this ROM. I think that's probably the biggest draw to me. Um, again, keep in mind the different um, bugs that I pointed out earlier. You could get away with this as a daily driver though. For me, my standards, um, I don't think I'd use this as a daily driver. And just before I leave, you'll also notice that we have this cool, um, these different icons up there at the top um, for our um, uh, signal strength as well as Wi-Fi. Uh, again, you know, you can always, if you really wanted to, you can always download and install Exposed Framework and then download like EX Themer and then start changing those things around. But anyways, as it stands right now, I'm actually quite impressed with this and I'm really looking forward to see all the different uh, customizations. And every single time one of their sweetener packs is updated, it's updated with a whole bunch of new awesome um, uh, eye candy, basically icons and status bar icons and lock screen icons and things like that, navigation bar icons. So anyways, I'll be following this video up with a very long how to install video, which will include both the sweetener pack one and sweetener pack two. So you guys can actually see all the different options that it gives you, uh, both of which are aroma installers. Um, anyways, guys, that's it for this one though. If you like this video, click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos in the future, but that's it for this one. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.